Welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. Might as well bring up the first fuckery of um, yeah. yeah, the Will and Jada report. <laughs> oh my! God. Have y'all seen this clip? This, this, yeah, this new footage that has surfaced. Yes. Yeah. Right, so I showed my wife, and she had a very different perspective. Like I showed it to her with no context, without nobody like giving their commentary on it, and then it was just a clip. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm gonna first say. It was very interesting to see how women see these things compared mm-hmm. to how me as a man sees it. Um, so for the viewers that have not seen the clip, um, it's basically Will is sitting there and Jada is like, you know, this lady, I can't remember the lady name. Asta, Starts with an E or something. Estera or something. Rose or something like that. Uh-huh. Anyway, she was like, this, lady, "This lady coming on the sh- on the red table, so tune in." And uh, she helped me and Will. Then she helped us, Will. Don't you think that it's good that she helped us? And Will is sitting there looking at the camera like, um, "Okay, I-, I think that it's messed up that you know you put the camera on me. You know, social media is my livelihood, so." You know, I, I don't, don't don't record me like that and just pop pop up on me recording like in my house, just standing in my house. My wife was like, "Well, I can see how maybe she got upset because he was like, you know, not trying to go along with her video, and he was kind of cold, so you know, he was kind of being an ass." I was so confused because for me, I saw a man that's just emasculated and broken. And I saw a woman that could not take no for an answer. <clears throat> and it's forcing this man into yet another situation that makes him look more and more like a self, like a weak man. And it's like, why? What would he do to you? Why don't you just leave that man? I don't know. The shit crazy, man. I've never seen such a broken man. I I think that you perfectly explained the situation here. Whatever, like. Why do you think mm-hmm. women see such a different thing? <clears throat> because I don't because think they, they have no feeling what being emasculated is. They so don't know what they'll they never have they Because they'll never know the feeling of being emasculated. They can identify with every other feeling that a man has, but that is one truly unique feeling for a man that a woman can never have or never truly experience. We can try to explain it to them, but if they're never willing to receive that information, they won't really have a real true understanding of what being emasculated is. Um, They can experience what it feels to be talked down to, but being emasculated isn't always being talked down to. So I don't think they can really readily idealize with that. So in any instance where they are emasculating the man, they'll see some emotion or an emotion, but they won't readily recognize what that is or what they're doing to that person to after the fact. They're, in my eyes, just just me as a man, they, um, with women, when it comes to emasculating the man, um, they do it by, they may be oversaying or undermining some of the man says. In this instance, Will didn't want to be on social media. He didn't want to be on a camera. Why well, force me to do something I want to do? Um, let's flip that. A woman doesn't want to have sex, but a man does, and he forces us her to do something. Mm. Is that right? No. You basically camera raped him. I didn't want to do this. You made me do this. But you derive sympathy from this when I don't want to do it. No. You can't get that. You can't have both edge, both 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 sides of the sword, and and it seems like in a lot of situations when it comes to um, public relationships, 
is seen that the females had is, is trying to get a double side on the sword, and especially in this relationship, which has become so public. And even though I try not to, I try my hardest not to speak on this and not to talk about this, but it always comes up in in uh, in every circle because I, I I me personally I really hate talking about other people like relationships. You remember because just me. I was always taught never speak on another man's business if I ain't got that man's permission. But I'll never have way permission. You feel me? And, and in this instance, I'm speaking in general, not on him specifically or any specific things like relationship topics. Um, we're speaking in general about just that that video and uh, what a woman did in a perspective situation. So this is why I had no problem speaking on this one. Um, but like I said, uh, um, just different viewpoints. As you said, you viewed it one way, your wife viewed it in another. Um, me. I tried my damage once again not to watch the video because I'm not trying to consume any more Will or Jada bullshit at all. Like I, I'm, I'm really sick and tired of them. Um, uh, if Will ain't making a movie, I don't want to see a Will, Will Smith face. Um, I'm tired of Jada face so much. I don't even want to see Willow face. Um, so uh, <laughs> I just what, whatever going on with them, I just want them to get their shit together behind the scenes to stay behind the scenes. Y'all shit has become so, so. Um, salacious that's an everyday yeah. thing it, it become an everyday meme um but this is your relationship um i'm sorry just me me as a human being i don't want my my relationship or anything sentimental or intimate to me to become a salacious thing for the entire world um in the instance of the slap or whatever uh right or wrong whatever each man it, that's subjective to me um it, it depending on who you were is how you gonna react in a situation. I'm not him. I don't know what's going through his head, his head, but I can guarantee when he slapped that dude, when he slapped Chris Rock, he was like, "God damn right." As he walked around, as he turned around, but when he went back to his seat, I guarantee it was something else. Because once again, he had to go back and sit beside that same woman who's been emasculating him and bringing him to the point of now I have to physically act out, or now I have to actually do something. You feel me? I've tried to do it every other way. I've tried to. No, I tried to bash. I tried to be the extra exuberant. Ah, it's just me, Will Smith. Ah, but nothing. It, it seems like nothing is. You feel me? But so I mean, at what point? Is at what point are we gonna see a change? Is this gonna be? Is this about to be the new OJ? You feel me? Is that the turn? Is that the turn it's gonna take? Or is this gonna be the new um, Brad Pitt case where we saying she saying he she saying one thing, but he saying he getting abused in the house? What is it like? I really don't care what is it. I got my own marriage to work about. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's salacious, it's salacious. And me being a black media outlet now, we have to talk about it. So then we have to talk about it. Get y'all shit straight, Will and Jalen. Please get y'all shit straight. Do me a favor. Take all y'all social media content down until you get your family life straight. Because at the end of the day, you still have kids. Whether they are young adults or not, they still are affected by your bullshit because your bullshit is out and open. You don't think when... Um, the little weird boy and the little weird girl go out. People don't ask them about y'all weird ass. <laughs> yes, little weird boy. They still asking your kids about what your weird ass. So, if not for your, if not for your own sanity, think about your kids because at the end of the day, the kids are still a future. So you traumatize your kids, put your kids in this limelight with this bullshit because you already got a nigga a couple years older than your son walking around talking about he fucking moms. That really, y'all? What 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 is what is what is going on? What is what is going on? Like y'all, y'all becoming the new Kardashians. Y'all the new it it family. You feel me? Y'all the black Kardashians. It's just not so many females in the family. Y'all, y'all. Matter of fact, fuck the Kardashians. Y'all the new Adams family. Y'all are the new Adams family. You feel me? Y'all creepy and fucking kooky. <laughs> This shit's real. He, he's right. Niggas <laughs> is right. He's right, man. He's right. I think another problem yeah, is, yeah. is it's it's part of culture not to care about a man's feeling. It's it's part of the culture. Like until we get over that, until that's taken seriously, like. Anytime, anytime a man express an emotion outside of anger or I'm getting money, which is not even an emotion. Right. <laughs> it's not even an emotion, but we got to treat it like it is. It's he's being demasculated. demasculated. I can't even say the word. Jesus. 
I don't want to say the word because I don't want that shit. Emasculated. Anything to do with yeah, he emasculated. He is like, it's how are we gonna get rid of emasculation if it's a part of the culture? I know how to get rid of that shit because it wasn't it wasn't always part of the culture. I got the fucking solve it, solve it right here. I got the fucking problem solved. Into the you want to stop emasculation? You want you want to go back? You want to stop emasculation? Let's let's take a trip back in history. Let let's take a trip back in history because that's only really emasculation gonna stop. It was a fair and even like right thing. You feel me? You feel me? Women, you start emasculating men when you got more more rights and you, you start feeling yourself. I have no problem with that. I want a woman's rights. I, I I want y'all to get all the rights and be equal. But for some reason, you feel like being equal means that you have to talk down or make a feel man, a man feel less. But then you want a strong man. You can't have both. There is no such thing as a weak, strong man. If you want a strong man, take that strong man for what it is. If you want to try to beat him down and break him down, you don't need that man. You need a punching bag. You mm-hmm. need to take a ride. You need mm-hmm. an outdoor activity. You need a hobby because your hobby has become emasculating that man. We did a fair and even switch. You feel me? Back in the day, it won't know emasculating no man. It won't know talking no shit about your man. It was doing what your man asked because he gave it, he gave you everything you wanted. He paid all the motherfucking bills. But nowadays, in 2022, you want to talk shit, pop shit, get shit, and still be taken care of and pampered. Fuck that. You feel me? How dare you think? How dare? You feel me? My thing is, you, you won't respect, give respect. That's you want to be treated like a queen? Treat treat him like a king. Ain't no king getting emasculated. Because ain't no true queen going to emasculate her king. And Jada, a true king and queen are going to compliment each other. A true king and queen see the value in each other. They're going to uplift each other and not try to bring each other down at any point. A true king and queen. I know we all got the new thing. We walk around, hey, king, hey, queen, hey, king. But a lot of motherfuckers out here ain't kings or queens. I'm going to call you as I see you. Nick. You a bunch of fucking humans putting on masks and fake ass crowns. Let's be real. If you still got it in your heart to emasculate your man, look in the mirror and know that you ain't no fucking queen. That's real. Damn. You working yourself to that level. <clears throat> you trying to work yourself to the level. And I ain't just on women, men. If you can look at your woman and you can talk down on your woman and be berate her, saying you ain't no fucking king. Both sexes step into your shoes, man. Step into your rightful places that you say and you are, but you really ain't living in that place. You ain't no fucking king if you can't take care of your fucking castle. It ain't all about money. That's more about taking care of your fucking castle, making sure your house is in order. You ain't no fucking queen if you can't do the exact same thing, making sure the inside of the house is in order. I'm not talking about cleanliness. I'm talking about the family. If you if ain't got no kids, the family is you and that fucking man. Get your positions right, man. Yeah, and at the same time, make sure that you are not out here disrespecting people's nose. Cause I, I as I watched the clip, what I saw was if a man had been following a woman around, recording her without her permission, and she said, Don't record me, the world would have been up and off. Oh, he disrespected her. He didn't take her no. He he didn't get her consent. He is he was but why is nobody up and arms about the fact that this woman did the same thing to this man? Because niggas don't give a fuck about me. Motherfuckers don't give a fuck about me. Nope. But what would the world be without us? <laughs> Shit. Including men sometimes. Because we'll go right on that, that, that same hate train or whatever. As soon as like somebody starts, as soon as a, a man starts showing an emotion other than I'm mad and I get money, even sometimes when I get mad, we go on the joke train. I myself do it sometimes too, depending on the celebrity if I like them a lot <laughs> or not. <laughs> is it any culpability that we as men have that have allowed women to take this position of demasculating men and it being accepted? Because I also on the wide scale, yeah. As I, as I watched the as I watched the man be broken, I also watched the man allow himself to not like take any control of the situation. He just sat there. Mm-hmm. On the wide scale, on the wide scale, yeah. Take the camera. Do something. I ain't, like, don't do nothing crazy, but, like, take some Either type of, like, at that liberties over your own faculties. Like, 
This this the point. The only thing he could really do is walk away. The only thing he could really do is walk away or whatever. And at that point, he might have been busy. In thought and, and, and he might have been in thought doing because you saw he was actually on his phone. He could be trying to just finish something on his phone. And then he can do more. And then mm-hmm. he can do more than that. He can walk away from the relationship. Yeah. Like that too. At what point do we as men like not accept it? Like, okay, yeah, she's a pretty lady. All right, you're Will Smith. You get another pretty lady. Like with hair. If you want, like, mm-hmm. why are you as a man sitting here accepting this role of being treated as lesser than? And you don't why because at the end of the day, feelings, feelings and attachments come into play, regardless of the sex, because in the same instance, a woman will do the same thing. Stick around with a man who abuses her and beats the fuck out of her. And people ask, why the fuck you stay with him? Why the fuck you stay with him? And she can't say it. So the same reason we're taking all this bullshit mental and uh, emotional abuse and motherfuckers don't know why he won't leave the same reason his motherfucker is, is, is in love with her you feel me like he's emotionally deeply emotionally attached to the same level where an abused female who knows she getting her ass who, who goes to the hospital every week for a fucking bruise or blackout broken bone will keep going back to that same dude who doing it who knows she called her mama every fucking week he, he did it again mama he beat me again mama he did it again mama the same thing with Smith. I don't know, baby. Please stop this, baby. I don't know, baby. Please stop this. And, and same thing. Same thing. His dumb ass keep running Stockholm back. Syndrome. Same, for, same fucking shit. These deep seated attachments psychologically where you feel like you need that motherfucking person. You don't need anybody in your life in all actuality because no one in this world except for a Siamese twin was born with somebody. You feel me? At the end of the day, you're born by yourself. You're going to die by yourself. The relationships and things you build in life between birth and death that's all good that's all fine but don't indebt yourself to one person so much that you lose your fucking self and lose your sanity and can't get your own happiness once again everybody knows you got to make yourself happy before you can make somebody else happy and at the point where you look in yourself in, in the mirror and say you miserable how much happiness can you derive from anything or how much happiness can you give out to anything? None. Is this the reason why Will Smith doing all this other wild and crazy shit now? Because he can't find no happiness at home and can't find no happiness. So he had to do all this other shit he that house. he doing. You feel me? Is that why he doing he all this other shit to derive happiness, to find, to find that happiness that should be at home? Is that why? Is this why the same reason why abused females go out and be whores and go out and do all this shit to try to find that attention? Same shit. You feel me? It ain't, it ain't between sexes. It's, it's human behavior but when it comes to this instance. It's basically fucking human shit. Them deep-seated psychological, un- them deep-seated subconscious psychological things in each person that makes you go to this abuse, that makes you keep going to this toxic person when you know it ain't right, when you know you should be gone. But you can't. But you can't. You got to hit that wall. You got to hit that fucking wall first. Yeah. And we'll hit, he done hit a few walls. I fear for what the next wall is because oh. he just slapped one motherfucker. The next level, okay, I'm going to rehab. What the fuck you in rehab for? Anger rehab? No, motherfucker. That's some Hollywood bullshit. I'm in anger rehab. You ain't on no substances. That's the type of rehab you go for. Substance abuse rehab. You got anger, you need a counselor. You 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 need somebody to get to the deep seat of root of between you and this other person and then you by yourself or whatever, however they do it. But my thing is, get this shit straight, man. Get your mental straight. Make sure you're straight, women and men. You in a fucked up situation, you not realizing it, look in the fucking mirror. That person in the mirror gonna tell you back. Yeah. I'm looking at the man in the mirror. Oh yeah. All I gotta say, all I gotta say is about this is this. Or whatever. Cause uh somebody got mad about my opinion about it early or whatever but um there was this thing that said will did it because protect black women he was protecting his wife or whatever will did that's that. what she, he slapped chris rock to protect his wife okay i personally don't think so i think he's i think he just snapped i think he saw his wife she had made a face and he thought he had to do something or whatever maybe to try to impress her into thinking that he's 
her, finally her inner Tupac that she always want him to be or whatever. Um, and then Jada turned around uh, and made a statement and said, um, I don't know why Will did it. I'm very disappointed. In him. So once again, protect black women. But how can we protect y'all if we're getting stabbed? Oh, no, no, no. So the woman that he protected, quote unquote, Sad. said that she was surprised that he did it and was just yes, yes, yes. How can we protect y'all if y'all not helping protect us mentally, Will, physically? Will, Will, I feel like I want to come take a flash photographer picture of you or something and snap you the fuck about this. Get out, Will. Get out, Will. Mm-hmm. Get, she, I don't know what the tea is in that cup that she spending that spoon in, but get out, Will. Get out the tongue and play, sir. Like, it, it's, it, it ain't that deep. It ain't, it ain't worth it. I don't care how many years you got with the woman. I I'll do you one better. Heal, Will. Heal, my brother. Heal, Will. Whatever ill is in you, Will, you need to heal, brother. Heal. You are fucking Will Smith. You need to heal, Will. You need to heal. Whatever stuff is in you, Will, you need to heal. Mm, you need uh, to fuck heal. that. You are fucking Will Smith. I'm saying. You are the main breadwinner of that house and family. I'm saying. Set it off is not doing what Independence Day do. <laughs> I'm sorry. So you're, so you're I'm saying, sorry. So you're saying Wu is, is, isn't is gonna move the needle? I'm, if Who? you ain't talking about Wu-Tang, I ain't, <laughs> that's about it. I'm, you are the main, you're still continuously making movies and shit. They might be Man, mad at you right now, but mm-hmm. they're still watching day. all all those bad boys. Michael Bay said he's still working with Will Smith. There still will be bad boys coming. We're still going to watch them. Okay, I'm gonna flip. I'm gonna flip the script. Okay, Will Smith, now man. Will Smith, if Will Smith like was a basketball player. Nigga will still be playing with Will Smith. Well, the trail free will choke that motherfucker a couple years back. And then he still played basketball. It was a fine, but then he got to play basketball. Now you trying to blackball this motherfucker because he slapped another motherfucker. Oh fucking well. How many niggas are getting think- slapped behind behind the scenes? He slapped the motherfucker in front. He was the realest mother. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say it. Out of Hollywood, Will Smith the realest motherfucker in Hollywood, because I slapped your bitch ass on camera. I ain't got to wait behind the camera. <laughs> so like in 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 hindsight, looking at it, I right, I'm I for the sake of black excellence and the simple fact that it was a black man producing the Oscars or whatever. I was like, he shouldn't have done that. And that's the main reason why I say he shouldn't have done that or whatever. The, the, the be just to protect black excellence or whatever. But at the same time, at the same time, I kind of feel like this should happen. We need to like be over the Oscars. Fuck, fuck, fuck that. Oscar. That, slap was a, that slap was an example of black excellence. Did you see the, the delivery of that slap? Did you see the Chris, the Chris walk up to? That was an excellent wa- delivery. I clean walked up to your ass and slapped the shit out your head. Did a perfect 360 and walked the fuck back to my chair. That was excellent. That was an excellent slap. I'm going I'm to be the dissenting opinion on this one. And this one. I, can't, I can't agree there. Uh, I saw a weak ass nigga that had to take a note and yeah. broke the fuck down on national TV. And got sat down. Had Chris Rock said some real disrespectful shit and he real disrespectful shit about his wife and he got up and smacked him. Cool. It had Chris Rock threw some over there. Cool. Had Chris Rock had done some like physical shit or some bullshit to them behind the scenes right before they went out there. Cool. But over the G.I. Jane joke, that's what you got up and got real nigga for? Hey, I'm not condoning. Clowning the fuck out of you and your wife. I, I, I getting real nasty with this You ain't rolled up on nobody else, but this nigga said a GI Jane joke about your wife, and you go up and smack him, and you no, I can't, I can't get you. And a, then, smack. and then the main, the main Just person you should him. smack will smack you back. That's all. The that main he ain't smack August. The main. August, that's what I'm saying. August the main was, person you supposed to smack. He 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 just released another song about them, another song, and. 
the the main reason why I feel like it should have happened though is because we need to get over the Oscar. Period. Oh, like, I would have known about like, it. like I, I think we just should happened, just be open. Happened. It's Mac told oh, what the, the same here. I woke up to the smack. I woke up, saw some shit on the phone. I was like, oh shit, let me check this out. Man, oh, man. I tell you this, like, slap please, or not, I still didn't give a fuck about the war show. I don't yeah. feel these motherfuckers need a war show. I mean, fucking I did. Uh, big ass goddamn even, checkers and goddamn award. I didn't go to watch the rest of it. I just watched the the little snippets of it. But we really just need. I I personally think this is. We should just get over the Oscars and do our own thing because we just have too much weight. I feel like if anything we're gonna make this, if they're gonna make the slap into something that like that's like weight, because all right. He shouldn't have slapped him, but it's not as bad as what they're blowing it up to be. Like they're like banning him for 10 years and stuff. He's gonna be 60 freaking three. Like, like that's really bad because he can still be nominated and win awards. He can still yeah, but he just can't come to the show. Who gives a fuck? I can still get yeah, fuck that shit. Ooh, fuck that. I can, I can save this money in this goddamn I think he my ass this goddamn award. Still, get, still get an award. They they did that because oh. all right, if this was Oscars like 10 years ago, he would have just been straight banned and they wouldn't have nominated him like 10 years ago. But because the Oscars over the past couple of years have had a bad look in the public eye, saying how racist and how they don't include or they they're not diverse or inclusionary, and how you can how can we uh take uh the Oscars as as legit if you're not encompassing all people in their art or whatever if you're just rating white people then it's just all right this is the award to see who's the best whitey on yeah, on the show that's why <laughs> damn old thing. yeah that's it that's it because if you think about it that's how they look at the bet awards it's just the awards to see who's the best blackie out of the blacks or whatever so blackie out of the blacks that's how they look at that. So I'm gonna say it like this: the Oscars is nothing but the whitey to white whites award, and we're just gonna see who is the great white out of all the other whites in this sock par. <laughs> That's pretty much. But mm, I think all in all, or whatever, if they're gonna just do all this to Will Smith, Will Smith that has been having the perfect track record for the past fifty freaking years, Will Smith that we only know of two people he has slapped over the probably. Mm, I would say thousands of people he might have encountered that could probably deserve the smack. Will Smith, you're going to counsel him for that. Whatever. Now, the only other person I say um, going into the fuckery, Chris Rock has gotten himself lawyered up, which probably explains why he has not in his stand-up actually said anything directly about the smack or whatever. But I'm kind of debating if he's going to do it because, you know, the day of he didn't press charges. Um, you know, he pretty much just let Will have his, his moment or whatever. But that doesn't mean that after a while, because like Jim Carrey said, that smack is forever now. Yeah, but you know what? Chris Rock might not be getting lawyered up to do anything to Will Smith. He might be getting lawyered up to see the Academy for something like the safety violation. or something. Negligence. Yeah putting them in harm's way without proper security or something like that. Like, so if he does that, then more power to him. Uh-huh. I think you should do that anyway. I think you should do that. But uh, enough of Will and Jada because fuck them. I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> tired of this shit. Will, get therapy. Remember you're Will Smith. Jada, Jada, calm the fuck down. Okay? Calm the fuck down. All right. Um, on new, more, more news.